In today's video, I'd love to share some ideas with you on how you can use news pages in SharePoint Online to, uh, to share photos of events and how you can bring this all together on a site page. So in this example, you'll see in the middle column, I've brought in the company news and you'll see that there's a, a couple of events there where I've uh, shared some photos from events. So let's take a look at um, at one of these events. So this was a urine party, well, still coming up. And um, I've used the image gallery web part to actually load these photos. And you'll see I even brought in a Microsoft form to, uh, to let people rate events. Now going back to the home page, you'll also see that uh, I've shared a button that goes to um, event photos or company event photos. And here you'll see a combination of, uh, of different events. But let's take a look at how easy it is to create one of these news pages. On the landing page, um, at the where you can find the company news web part or the news pages, I'm going to add a new post. And let's call this the Office 365 Awareness Event Photos. And we can say that uh, this was held in October of 2019. Now, this is actually a news article that I'm doing. So let's just go and grab an image that we can upload. You can position the image of course and then on this page and um, because I'm going to do this as a news page so what I want to do is I want to write a little article and say hey the event was great this is what the event was about and uh, and here's some great photos so uh, let's have a think about how we can do this so of course we can just add a single column at the top and uh, I can add some text uh, below you'll see some photos of the event. I always switch comments off on pages. I would rather use Microsoft Forms. But um, then I can just add a column and I am going to use the image gallery web part. So um, I can now go and choose the photos that I'd like to use. And um, I'm going to just select all of these. The nice thing is, is that when you add all those photos on the page, it, uh, it really compresses the page seriously. So it's not a library um, in which you're loading photos and um, it's going to take a lot of resources to open. So there you can see, and the layout that I'm using is brick at the moment, which is pretty cool. Um, you can use grid as well, which is just a very square look. And then of course you can use carousel as well, which people can scroll through still busy loading so let's just give it a moment so there's the event um, blah 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 and we can then publish um, this article so once um, an article or a news page is published it'll automatically show on the landing page of uh, the intranet in case you're wondering um, this is actually a sway uh, that I've built and I've set it to auto play and that can be such a nice thing to use campaigns and awareness um, and to display your company values for example so all I've done is I've set it to auto play and I grabbed the embedded code of the sway and I've added to the page and in the top left here you'll see I added a gif so I created a gif and I added that into an image web part and these by the way is also promoted links same as those but I created my own icons in PowerPoint and just uploaded them. So there we go. There's the news article. But now how do I bring this all together so that people can actually go back to the articles? Now, firstly, remember that you can send this. You can promote that article and still send it by email because everyone's not going to just read everything off the internet in the beginning if it's new. So I definitely suggest still promoting it through email. And here's an example of what that email can look like. So if uh, if I open an article and I uh, I click on promote or send via email here at the top, you'll see that it allows you to generate a little um, image 
and even a little synopsis and you can then email this to people um, and uh, this is what the example email would look like now once we've done this I would like to create a summary page that people can go to so you can see on this news article um, I've got a button there that says see previous events so when I go to that see previous events page I've built a site pages page so that I didn't build from the landing page, from news pages. I actually went to site content. I went to site pages. And inside of site pages, I added a new site page. So there we go. This is where I add it. Because when I add it here, it doesn't get promoted on the news um, and on the front page. And it also doesn't get promoted to the mobile app. But... Um, Creating it here means I can then link it where I want to link it on the intranet. So let's take a look. If uh, if I then go back and I say um, all the event photos that I want to share. So there's a bit of a write-up. I've even brought in a uh, call to action. So are you hosting an event? Do you need help? There's a button I can click. I brought in a little quote as well. You'll see that I've uh, created a Yammer group for company events to allow people to give feedback um, on events. And, and there's Bram, pretty excited because uh, he can now go to office parties. <laughs> Stupid sheep. Anyway, um, so on this page, you'll see that, uh, that I actually created quick links and I used images. So let's just edit this page and I'll show you what I did. So this is my summary page for photos of company events. But it doesn't load all the photos, it just allows, allows you to select the event that you want to have a look at. So there I've brought in quick links and um, what I did, I used uh, the grid display and I then added my own image. This image is selecting from uh, the news article that I wrote, but of course you can do a custom image as well. So this is a normal promoted link and I then just picked the page URL. Alternatively, um, let's just uh, publish this. So there you can see it's promoted links. People can then go through and say, hey, I want to have a look at uh, at the Pride party. Um, and there we go. There's a write-up about the party with the organizing team. Um, and there's some pretty cool photos. From the party, again, there's a See Previous Events button that takes you back. But uh, alternatively, what you can also do, um, because this is a little bit of labor, you're going to have to add these icons, but you can selectively add what you then want to display. You can also add a web part on the page that points to the news pages. And it's, uh, it's the news web part. And what you can then do, because this will pull all the news articles, you can then go and filter this news web part. And you'll see there um, where it's pointing to, my layout, and this is where I can go and say that when the title includes the words photo. So let's just make sure. Let's just do that again. Got to be careful. Um, so in this example, these specific event photo news pages that I share, I've used the word photo in it. But if you do have any other articles where the word photo does appear and the title is also going to show on the page. So this is a much easier way to do it as it will automatically load on this page um, regardless of you adding the quick link there. Um, so of course you can actually do it in this way. And let's just modify that. That will pull um, the image that you used in the banner of the news article. And uh, let's see. What that looks like. There we go. It will show the latest event and then the previous events. So exactly the same as uh, this concept, but this you have to manually load. And this one actually will show by default and it's going to filter as soon as the word photo appears in the title of the message. So users can then click through and there you'll see. So yes, it is a news page that you can promote and send um, to users but I then use them to actually bring my images together so that I can display them in the company.
I, uh, I hope that you have a lot of fun with that. Keep on being creative and be curious and try cool things and you'll see that you'll have an incredible intranet or an incredible SharePoint site.